why does it seem so hard these days to find the right partnership that we desire the commitment the devotion the soul connection the intimacy just all of that that we humans truly desire and need to be completely fulfilled and i'm not saying that we cannot be fulfilled within ourselves but let's get it real here we are humans we need bonding we need connection we need love no one is here to live by themselves isolated on an island unless that is part of your soul's mission this lifetime and this will be only a few people on this planet now while we can look at all the statistics why economically geographically and for all the other reasons people are single these days i would like to give you a bit of a different approach as to why things are the way that they are right now and have been for a while. And this topic is also very personal for me. You see, for the longest time, I have felt that my love is under some sort of anesthesia and it's simply not waking up out of it. And we can pretty much translate that as well into a spiritual metaphor, because when are we under anesthesia? When we are undergoing a surgery, when we have something that needs to be healed, that needs to be repaired, that needs to be fixed in order for us again to be whole and to function on an optimal level. And when we look at our own growth, at our own ascension, the more we are embodied in our power, the more we are really sovereign in our being, the more we know who we are, what we want, what we desire in our lives, then the thinner the air is. You see, when we are at the lower consciousness state, then the pool is full of potential suitors. But the more we rise up, the less and less people are there to select from. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't people, however, the timing of when those two people are to meet extends has a different timeline because when we speak of partnership we need to understand that there are two people in the game and one may be ready but your actual counterpart may not and this is where the frustrating sometimes component of divine timing comes into play very much depending on our personal soul purpose here on earth, why we have reincarnated. Some people are for prolonged period single than others. And there are so many components that fall into play to that. You can't look at it black or white and you certainly cannot compare your journey to somebody else's because it will always lead you to suffering you can use it as a source of inspiration but not one to measure your own value on we speak a lot about unconditional love now what is happening on the planet and has been happening for a long time it's just that now it is felt more globally is that we are re Wiring, restructuring, recoding our DNA template, our nervous system, our remembrance of who we are is slowly coming back. And what does this mean? It means that when we speak of unconditional love, what we are trying to get away from is conditional love, right? So we have conditions, we have rules, we are expecting things from one another. Now, what many tend to forget is that unconditional love and conditional love pull on the same string. Those are polarities, all right? And they express themselves in different frequencies. Neither is good or bad. However, the conditional love has always been part of the human experience here on Earth. And I know that this may sound or seem hard to understand or to grasp, but what I'm saying is that conditional love isn't necessarily bad in its essence, because when we have expectations towards one another and there are expectations we need to meet, like for example, if I set up a meeting at 2 p.m., those people expect me to be there and I expect them to be there. So conditioned love with expectations isn't always bad, however, what we are moving away from as a lower vibrational frequency of conditioned love is possession, is obsession, is jealousy, is you need to tell me where you are at all times. You can't go here, you can't go there. We are moving from that component to freedom. What unconditional love is, is basically freedom. Knowing that we don't own anybody and nobody owns us. When we can really love freely, trust one another this is where unconditional love comes into play and this is also where 
Pluto in Aquarius right now is playing a significant role as a generational signature because Pluto is here guiding the purpose, the sole purpose of humanity. And why the past decades have been so difficult is because different generations have incarnated for different levels so we can come closer to today. You see some other negative components of conditioned love is convenience, is comfort. It's I am with you because this is what I can get out of you. I am with you because you benefit me in X, Y, Z. With unconditional love, it is more about a higher purpose together. It is about a deep soul bond, soul connection together. And of course there are beneficial components to that as well, but it's the way that we go about it, the way that our inner being is aligned to it, that is completely different. Now I was referring to Pluto and I want to give you two examples especially of two generations that have had really tricky lessons to learn over the past decades that brought us to a complete transformation in relationships today. And to begin with, one of them is the Pluto in Libra generation that I fall under as well. Pluto in Libra generation is what we call the Generation X. So anyone born from 1971 to 1983. And their lessons are all about balance, justice, and the true meaning of we versus me. Because what is Libra all about, ruled by Venus? It's about relationships, it's about harmony, it's about fairness, it's about balance, and it's about coming together. The Pluto in Libra generation, Libra, the scales, are actually the gatekeepers between death and rebirth. They are the only sign that is not based on an animal or human form. So when we look at the Libra generation, they're here to resolve karma and learn lessons around relationships. And if you observe many Pluto in Libra people today, because if you're born under this generation, you will have this theme all your life, then you will notice that they're very often still the old school type. They like things to be balanced, to be fair, and they hold really high value on relationships. The next generation I want to speak about is the Pluto in Scorpio generation, so also what we refer to as the Millennials. So anyone born between 1983, sometimes the years can overlap, and 1995, so what does Scorpio represent? This generation is here to learn lessons, release karma around the topics of power and powerlessness. So they are experiencing in their lives, whether in private relationships at work and within themselves, a lot of power struggles. And it's also an era where in particular the porn industry became mainstream, where topics around sexuality became more and more popular. So why I'm sharing this with you is to show you that the times have not gone crazy, that people have not lost their values, we have not lost the true deep meaning of love and bonding and relationships, but what is occurring is a complete shift, is a recoding in our system of what love is, what love means. And with that, the periods of being alone and the time to really need that person that matches us, and this can be many people, is difference. Timelines have shifted. Age of Aquarius and Pluto in Aquarius is all about humanity, it's about coming together and it's about the huge shift and transformation in consciousness. And when we are on this path, finding that person, whether it is a whole community, a tribe, sisterhoods, friendships, any kind of ships pretty much, are going to take the time because the old, the old does not apply anymore. The old does not work anymore. That's why you will also see now many relationships that were based simply on convenience or comfort or some sort of interest falling away when these people are actually evolving because they can no longer stay in there. And for those who have been single for a while, when their person is ready, you will meet and you will know because these are bonds that are so much higher than us. And by the end of the day, we will understand why it took the time.